This video is brought to you by the Travis Mannion Foundation. Yeah, my father was a uh, Marine. So he was, um, you know, I guess once a Marine, always a Marine. He instilled his uh, pride that he had in serving the country. He was a uh, paraplegic. He, had, uh, he was injured uh, while in the service. We received our orders probably a month after being there. When we would go into an engagement, there's quite a few times where, you know, I wasn't sure if we were going to make it out or back. I was uh, up on top of the tank, and from one minute to the next, I was fine. And I just must have been shrapnel that caught my arm. Immediately, I, I couldn't move my arm, and uh, we uh, used duct tape and and some medication to get me through. That second, that instant, when you have a choice to stand and do your job. And I think that's all I did when I was there. I, I, I wanted to do the best I could. I received awards for what I did, did. They're not so important. I tried to instill with my children the same compass that my father had, had with me, where it, it takes some pride and serve your country. If they diagnosed them, diagnosed me actually in 95 with PTSD. And f to be honest, I thought it was some sort of joke. I, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And my life was a turmoil. I had to do a bid for a basement and we opened the door, but Kathy, she, uh, she opened the door and uh, it was love at first sight, I guess. And he came in the door and, and just the rest is kind of history. He got the job. <laughs> He just had this way about him where you could just tell that he he had been hurt in the past. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for him. And, you know, he doesn't talk about it. He doesn't like to um, say about the, the positive things he does. But he actually takes veterans that are um, in very serious downfall and he'll help them get treatment, and he'll talk to them, he'll take them to meetings. We uh, received uh, damage from uh, Hurricane Sandy. The hurricane hit, and, and we got um, tree limbs that went straight through the ceiling and had gutter damage and some other things. Our insurance company gave us a little pushback from the beginning. He tried so hard to manage the process and get the insurance company to reimburse us so we could fix the roof and the gutters and everything. And to make a long story short, uh, they, they spread it out so long that they said that it expired and they refused to give us any funding whatsoever. Kathy had written, out, written to us um, on behalf of her husband, Jack, who is a Gulf War veteran. He served in the Army. And they had received quite a bit of storm damage um, a few years ago, and they've been living you know, in their home with this damage. And Jack, due to his um, service in the military, had received quite a few injuries. So you know, repairing their home probably wasn't going to happen without some help from somebody else. Uh, Jack's story was very inspirational and was also very comforting, especially since he was a, a vet. And we love to serve those who serve our country because we love our freedom. And his story just really hit home of where we want to help out in the community. We also strive ourselves on setting the highest standards in the industry. So we not only want to try to do that, but we also feel it's just as important to give back to the community and help others who are in need. Jack is an amazing testimony to service. He did serve our country, and after he hung up his uniform, even though he struggled with quite a few difficulties, which he's very candid about, he has continued to serve. He has reached out to individuals who also are struggling, and he has volunteered at many um, local community projects, and he's actually volunteered for the Travis Manion Foundation for our 9-11 Heroes Run. Well, CBS Radio has been an amazing partner for the Travis Manion Foundation for quite a few years. They've been very supportive of all we do, and they've done uh, above and beyond to support the military, and especially military in our community. They reached out to us, and we shared uh, Jack's story with them, and they ran with it. CBS has uh, been out here and put together a great program and brought in some great people. All we were looking for was a loan to get, get, get a new roof on the house. It's just amazing that uh, P 
people actually are willing to give as much as they are. It's uh, overwhelming, really. Um, it's very appreciated. appreciated. I can't, can't thank people enough. This video is brought to you by the Travis Mannion Foundation.